Right. Hello, everyone. Hello from the publicity team. Um, we are one of the more forward facing elements of Debian and the public sphere, where we are tasked with providing the news and information about the project and also serve as the main contact point for outside inquiries. Uh, we also are responsible for parts of the Debian website and some of our mailing lists, which are Debian Announce and Debian News. Uh, publicity is actually made of two separate teams. Well, really one team, but two teams within the publicity team, which most people are um, aware of, um, and the one that most readers interact with, and which is also the largest segment of the team. And then we have a press portion of the team, which is much smaller, with just two delegates who are currently responsible for press releases and who can function as the um, official spokesperson for the project when needed. So today, we will talk about the publicity part of the team <clears throat> and some of the tools and methods that we use to accomplish our goal of getting the project news out and information into the world. So first, we use uh, the Micronews and the BITS services, which run on the Pelican site generator. Micronews is generally for a short microburst of items, such as things that are not major announcements or news, but still important enough to give an update. Or am I talking too fast? or uh, in, introduction to the world, like a few words with like a context link, you know, for example. Um, the micro news then feeds across several social networks. The bit service is Debian's official blog for much larger announcements, news, occasionally a policy update, um, press releases and so on. Micro news is again limited to just words and a supporting link. Uh, for that information. However, BITS allows us to write out full articles as well as host media that we can directly host. Uh, BITS does not feed to any automated services. So often you'll have a Micronews post following the BITS post and the Micronews post will then link to the BITS post. So this way we can push that information out on the blog and also off to social media at the same time. Uh, we also administer the timeline service which tracks all kinds of events that have occurred in Debian from start to present day. Um, I think we are having some difficulty with it at the time, but it, it is up there. You can find that at timeline.debian.net. And of course, we do the Debian project news known as the DPN, which has fallen off uh, of the things that we do. I again take ownership of this. Um, there are lots of moving parts and most of the major news has already gone out via the micro news or via uh, bits. So I think ideally we would use the project news as an archive of things that have occurred and perhaps revitalize some of the older features that we used to have, which were like interviews or um, just other, I guess, things we could be introduced to it to make it more interesting for the authors, for the readers and for the project. Because right now basically it just kind of sits around and it just, it's old news, unfortunately. Um, so moving on to our workflow, which is fairly simple. Um, the team members or contributors hunt around in Debian or email list or blogs or news sites, what have you. <clears throat> Thank you. And um, for things that are relating to free open source software, and we also take direct proposals in our IRC channel on OFTC, which is Debian publicity. Um, proposals and contributors and contributions rather can be emailed to us as well. Um, but be mindful that for the uh, team email, that's a public mailing list for things that need to be private or embargoed, we would invite you to use the press email address. Uh, contributors can write out directly what it is that they would like to say, or they can point out to something and then we can, uh, another contributor can then edit it or expand upon it or whatever the case might be. Uh, once the proposal is accepted, we figure out the best medium between micro news, bits, or the DPN when it's working. And it's then submitted to our Git repository where it's edited for grammar or clarifications, what have you, and then published by those with access to the Pelican instance or to the website. Uh, let's see. So most of our discussion occurs on IRC, um, a majority of, of where you will find the team. Um, so it's the best place to kind of see what we're doing, observe, and to contribute. And uh, lastly, help. We always need help in the publicity team. Uh, Debian is huge and it's even bigger on the inside because there's so much going on. Um, and there are a lot of stories or bits of information that we should be getting out, but we miss, uh, at least on my end. And I think it's because you know you read something once and then you assume that everyone else is also has that same information or knowledge. 
and then it's no longer newsworthy. But the reality is it really is still newsworthy. So on occasion, these outside contributors can kind of come into the channels or um, to our mailing list and kind of remind us that this piece of news needs to go out and we certainly will get that out. Um, I think even more critical of a help request is the need for translation for our announcements, news, and releases. Uh, while most of our information is written in English, it would be ideal for people to read about the project in their own languages. And I think that is also very welcoming, not just to the project, but to the sciences and to software. Um, and our last ask is going to be to ask our fellow project members to contribute and help us to promote your work. I mean, it is your thing. We think no accomplishment is too small for notice. Um, and the only caveat we would say is if your submission is highly technical, to so please recognize that not everyone on the publicity team is well versed in the latest trend or language. So ideally, you would write what you're writing as an introduction as to why it was important and then get to the technical details, um, which I think would also be very welcoming for people. And that is my spiel. Well, I am Laura Arjona. I am the other publicity delegate. And uh, I, I don't have too much more to say. I just was very happy to see that we are 25 people in the SLPAD uh, reading or watching us or whatever. And uh, it was very nice surprise because uh, well, it seems people are interested in what we do. And that's all. Uh, I don't know if anybody has any question or comment. Or... There are some other people in the IRC, in our IRC channel. Um, so I'm watching both the windows. So if anybody wants to say anything, I can touch it. In IRC, someone says that they often go to the micro news to see when they want to have a quick catch up about what's happening in the project, which is good. Very, very good. I mean, that's the main feature of the micro news, really to get those little tiny fragments of information out that we don't want to like have to wait until the next news comes out or doesn't re necessarily require a longer uh, bits post. So micro news is really kind of one of the key areas where you can find out a lot that's going on inside Debian. Yes, in fact, uh... As Donald said, when we publish uh, an important news in other channels, for example, in the blog or uh, in the website, we always add a micronews pointing to there. So if you follow the micronews, whether in the website or in the, via the social networks, you will get uh, almost everything. Uh, what we are publishing many with we almost repeat also all the, the almost all the message that goes to the uh, Debian Devil Announce mailing list too, uh, and uh, sometimes the blog posts that other people in Debian write in their own blogs, and we read it via the planet and if we find it interesting for the wider audience we also publish some micro news about it um, important messages in the debian project mailing list too so i think uh, it's a way to catch almost everything what is happening Want to answer? So, what makes uh, the contribution difficult for the team is finding the source of relevant info, and that's very true. As I had mentioned earlier, there, there's a lot going on in Debian, and you often don't know what's relevant and what's not relevant. And honestly, I would say, um, if it's something that we've already released or talked about, we'll let you know. But otherwise, let, let us know because sometimes you know we do read things and we just assume. Everyone's aware of it. So we'll, we'll take the contribution either way and then you know, use it. Definitely be comfortable to the point that you can contribute. Like always feel that you can contribute. You always have to pick it up. Uh, I, will, I will get the one question. Do you have experience using Git in order to contribute? No. Uh, we almost all our channels 
have underlined his report there, but we accept the contributions in, in any format. I mean, sometimes people just join IRC and they say, what about publishing a micro news about blah, blah? And if they want, to, they can clone the repo and add the micro news themselves and then we publish. But if not, if they don't want or they cannot you know, at that moment, another person can commit in Git and publish. If you want, uh, uh, for example, to write a blog post to get it published in Bits, in Bits Debian Org, you can just open an etherpad and write there the, the text in the format, if you want to use Markdown or whatever you want. And then we can, we or other person can commit uh, in Git. So you don't need to know about it, Git or clone the repos to contribute. Of course, if you commit yourself, your name will be in the commit author. So if not, we will say thanks to um, whoever and uh, we will publish. And we also will include the authorship in the, for example, if it is a big post, it is published the, the author. But you don't need to know about Git. In particular, uh, for micro news, we have a script uh, that uh, even you just clone the Git repo and you don't need to, to you just uh, say add dot py and the text and the author and the micro news is, um, gets uh, committed automatically. It's very easy. Uh, but I repeat, if you don't need to know even that. Uh, of course, for if you plan to be a regular contributor, I guess that sooner or later you will want to know a little bit to feel more productive and more comfortable with the, with the machinery. But uh, it's not needed at all. <coughs> I lost the pad. Uh, another question. Do you write something about how people can get involved in Debian, like testing for instance? It will be helpful to publicize where to look for the right info if someone is thinking about contributing. Well, uh, the, the, most of the info about contributing is in the website. And sometimes we, we publish call for helps, a specific uh, about a specific topics when the teams say to us that it will be nice to for example for the when there is a new release of the debian installer usually tests are welcome so we publish it and in the news about the debian installer the debian installer teams say how to help uh, the issue that i see in general in debian is that it's so wide there are so many things that you can try and you can um, help that it's very difficult to publish uh, uh, news about how to contribute to Debian uh, because of the skills that, uh, that uh, people have and the interests are very different. Uh, so usually when somebody say, I want to contribute to Debian, the, the answer is, what do you want to do in Debian? Yeah. Uh, one thing that is very, very welcome, always, I know, is graphics and artwork. This is very welcome, and par particularly for us, for the publicity team, because adding a photo, a picture, a uh, design to any material that we publish is, very, is of course, very nice. So we welcome uh, we welcome artwork for anything. For example, uh, for the Debian Day, the Brazilian people make very nice designs usually to celebrate the, the Debian birthday. Mm, that is very very helpful because of course the the traditional blog post that we publish, if it has a or an original picture, is much better. Apart from that, translations, for example, are usually very welcome too. 
uh, there are some languages that already have their translator and translation team and you should if you want to contribute you should join that team and learn how they how they do work how the workflow they have and the different responsibilities if there is no translation team for your language uh, you can contact us directly the publicity team and uh, we can help you with the syntax and with uh, all the tools um, probably we cannot proofread your translation but uh, we usually trust and we try to publish them and uh, another thing uh, we have some small pending bugs there if you have uh, python knowledge for example uh, it can be useful for maintaining, help maintaining the timeline, the Pelican blocks, adding some fans or whatever. Mm, but it, I'm talking about the, the, our team, uh, about contributing in, in Debian. There are many, many other teams and other areas where people can get involved. Usually the, the better thing is to to follow the mailing list of the languages or, or the areas that you that you feel more comfortable and begin to don't be shy to ask things or to try the list of bugs, try things and be open to receive feedback and, and just slowly, slowly get involved. Uh, the better uh, advice that I can that I can give is to read, to listen, and to take the initiative to try things. To don't wait that people say to you do this or do that, because usually we we are not brave. We are, we don't if you we don't know the newcomer. We don't know if some task will be good for them or not, and things like that. So it's better that the the person coming and the person wanting to get involved say and propose and try to do whatever they feel uh, comfortable in them. So this is my opinion. It's good. It's a good opinion. <clears throat> I think the next question: Do you write on the new noteworthy noteworthy packages or noteworthy updates to Debian packages in Sid? Uh, Generally, there's a script that we run, and then, well, there's, there's several scripts that run, actually. There's one that runs and then posts to, uh, I think, Devel, and then later we run a script, and we basically pull out the ones that we find to be the most interesting, and then we do write a little bit on it, but not, like, not extensively. It's just something that we thought would be, like, oh, kind of cool, or something that's new, um, but nothing extensively at this time. Uh, I will take the last question, but I would like to, uh, Donald to also talk about it. Uh, they say, I am interested in joining the publicity team, preferably hunting the social media handles like Twitter. What's the procedure regarding that? Well, for now, we are a small team, so we, we concentrate in publish and create the content to publish in Micronews. And this goes automatically to Twitter, to other social networks, Mastodon and other social networks. Uh, so that is kind of automatic account. We usually don't reply or don't uh, engage in conversations in the social networks with the Debian profile. Sometimes the people uh, handling the uh, social media accounts, they retweet something or ping something or like something but this is very occasional we try not to engage there because um, this is not our media our media is the the debian hosted one um, but people individual people in the social networks that are part of debian usually follow the conversations and uh, answer maybe individually to the questions or to the comments that uh, people post. So it's kind of coordinated. But uh, for now, we try not to divide the unpublished messages only in one social network and not in the others. 
so so the the main the main help that we appreciate is to create the micro news to create the content and maybe to follow the debian the debian account in your favorite social network and engage in the conversation or answer the questions individually in, with your personal profile this is how i see things we need to we need to end it because we are at the time hmm. so. La maybe last words to finish <laughs> <laughs> well thank you thank you very much it was good as always thank you very much we are in the irc channel and always welcome to receive uh, newcomers and also all comers too <laughs> yes indeed yeah all right take thanks, care thanks laura and donut bye bye, -bye. thanks right. Paolo. bye bye